Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boats TV. And today I thought I'd give you the opportunity to social distance and protect your friends and family and all the critters that you love by purchasing this awesome 1998 Rinker 330 Fiesta V Express Cruiser. <laughs> Big cruiser offers pretty much all the comforts that you would want at home in the cabin of your boat. It's got a generator, therefore it has heat and air, has a flat screen TV, refrigerator, stove top, all that good stuff. Even has another refrigerator out in the cockpit. So for only $25,000, you'll be the hero of your family when you buy this beautiful cruiser. We're going to start by looking at the exterior, jump back in the interior, and that'll be it. Let's get started in 30 seconds. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heartland Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Anybody we upload, click it. that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. I've had quite a few emails about this boat, so I thought I would just do a walkthrough of the condition because I know it's hard for people to get out and about and look at it. So it's a 1998 330 Rinker Fiesta V Express Cruiser. Gel coat's very nice, and so is the bottom paint, actually. Boat does not come with a trailer because it's friggin' enormous. It's 12 feet wide. Boat was always kept here at the Lake of the Ozarks. Stems in great shape. It's got power anchor, generator, heat and air, all the fun stuff you want to have when you're cruising about wherever you cruise at. So this, this trailer's really long, we had to go way back. Yes. Here at Heartland Marine, we own our inventory. We inspect, check, clean, and correct all the boats we sell before we sell them within reason. We drove this boat a long ways to get it here because the water's down. So finding a boat ramp deep enough to pull this baby out was a challenge. But we got her done. That also allowed us the opportunity to really give it a good test run before it came in. So coming back to the transom, we got trim tabs. Bravo 2s. Now we'll jump inside and take a look at the interior. So this boat has the massive extended swim platform. Put a picnic table back here and party. It's got a walk through transom to the starboard side, giving way to the cockpit. So as we come up here, we have a door to block kids and critters. A little refreshment center so we can make some margaritas. Frozen mango are my favorite. I know that's girly, but what a, I don't care. It's good on a hot day. Down here we have our battery switches and an external port if we lose power, which would be pretty hard in this bad gal because it's got shore power and a generator, trash can, sink. All the carpet comes out so it's easy to keep clean. Right here we got some shelf storage. Storage underneath the back butt seat, line storage to the port side. So as you can see, vinyl is nice. Got a step because we have a walk around windshield up onto the deck above the bow. Cup holders back here. Oh, more storage. And there we have an enclosure. Makes this like a pop up camper. The boat's so big, it, it probably would fit in our shop, but uh, we didn't clean it. So when we sell them, you know, we clean them real good. If I didn't see that already, Come, there's been a loop stitch right there. It didn't do too bad. So our trim type controls, split shifters, power anchor, look at the dash, all the dash panels are really nice, gauge faces, we can, re we can read our rocker switches, but it's always been kept down here at the Lake of the Ozarks. So there's our top deck, we have remote spotlight, windows, power anchor, upgraded stereo with the sub, coming into the cabin, we've got the door to shut that. Oh, it does have the center walkthrough, so we can walk through the windshield also through here and around the gunnels. 
looking at the arch and the bimini so that rear bimini will attach to this also but it's got a great shine to it coming down into the cabin so one thing i definitely like it's got the ultra leather upholstery no floral print and when you're looking at pre-owned cruisers a big thing to look for is not down it's up see how the headliner is excellent it's not drooping sagging falling down that there's no funky smells in here i know it's a cold day but can't smell in the video anyways back here in the mid cabin we have more support poles um, more filler cushions table more storage the stairs on this boat aren't bad at all to get into some boats get into the cabin's nightmare look at that mirror that scared me i saw this good looking dude standing next to me just kidding separate shower which is nice because on some of these you're going to sit on the toilet and take a shower which is really weird full fiberglass lined head at the main galley lots of storage tv microwave coffee pot stove main distribution panel so right here we can control all of our stuff so when our shore power is on we flip this on uh turn everything off if we're going to switch the generator we'll turn our generator on fire it up here on start and then turn everything back on okay just like that dc circuits those are on the batteries so you don't have to have anything running so coming up into the master stateroom so to speak big refrigerator with a freezer in it more mirrors this boat's shagadelic if that's a word we can hang up our stuff put more storage here more storage oh it's got the curtain this is nice too because these little plastic clips are broke a lot so these are normally missing but it's in great shape there she is now we're going to go back and get in the bilge together all right coming down to the bilge this is actually pretty damn clean for a boat that was always kept in the water and what i mean by that is typically your maintenance is we're done with the boat in the water so the bilge just gets nasty and although it's not spotless it's in very nice shape otherwise i know some of you probably think that's crazy but I mean, I've, been, I've been doing it 20 years. It's not like I'm making it up as I go. Uh, battery charger, bunch of batteries, your generator, twin 5.7 Mercs. This motor lids look good. Automatic fire suppression system. Those are your trim pumps back here. Uh, your water tank, water pump, tilt and trim over there. So pretty clean. Well, my name's Brandon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and I'll see you on the water. Distance your friends and family and protect everyone that you loved. Oh shit, I was doing so good. So this bad gal has pretty much everything that you could want at home. Hot water heater. Hey, what's up guys? I know there's been just a bunch of COVID-19. Uh, just kidding, it's not Ella. And in today's environment, social distance. 12 feet wide with all the amenities you have at home, such as heat, air, hot water, generator that you don't have at home.